I'm Christian Lamichka, and today I present you Nathan Lee Jackson. Nathan, um, country music has many new fans in Europe who might be hearing about you for the first time. So okay. how would you describe the music you are playing in yourself? Uh, I would just say the music is kind of a classic country rock sound. <laughs> it's kind of a timeless. Um, I am just guy from Kentucky who moved to town with my dreams and aspirations about six years ago and uh, just met a bunch of songwriters who are now my friends and about four years ago I started um, working with producer Jeff Blitzman who produced Dust in the Wind and Carry On Wayward Son who the band Kansas and uh, you know a lot of that classic rock stuff is considered country music nowadays <laughs> so <laughs> he was uh, yeah, he was very interested in, in making a country record with me, and so we've been working on that, and we think it's just killer from beginning to end now, and uh, we're pushing the first single, Small Town Rain. So tell us something about the songs on the album. Songs on the album. I, I'd say the, the core of them is, you know, the country rock and, and so on, um, but it, it's kind of an eclectic album where I have one song that's more of a big jazz band kind of song. It's called Kentucky Breeze, obviously about the place that I'm from. <laughs> and uh, another song, I, you know, the guys, they took me to see a, a Kansas concert one night in New York, and I was just blown away by the musicianship of those guys. I said, I want to write a song for them. So uh, I came back here, and, and uh, the co-writer and I wrote a, a great rock song. And, um, my producer said, man, let's cut that on you instead. <laughs> so so we, we even have something like that on there. But um, yeah, the first single is just kind of a rockin' eaglesy kind of song. Yes, so the story behind the song? I, you know, actually, it, it's just kind of one of those little slice of life songs uh, that I wrote around all my experience growing up in a small town, Winchester, Kentucky. Um, I guess it means more to me now than it even did when we wrote it. Um, just this past November, we lost my mom and to cancer. And um, it turns out a couple of years ago when we wrote the song, we just threw a little shout-out lyric to her in there, Mrs. Jackson's Daffodils. And, and at this time, it's really good to have a memory etched into it. So what inspires you to become an artist? Oh, gosh, well, you know, I just started singing in church when I was maybe 12 years old and I just loved doing it and I guess along the way I thought hey, this would be something to, good to do for a living. <laughs> okay. So what's unique you about you that differentiates you from other hmm. I don't know, I'm really not trying to be anything. <laughs> I'm, I'm just trying to, uh, you know, make the music that's in my heart and share that. Um, if that makes me different, it does. If it, if it doesn't, then I'm not. But <laughs> <laughs> so, what can your fans expect to see when they see you in concert? I don't know. Well, I, I try to give a lot of thought to my concerts. Try my best to make sure it's entertaining. So, you know, hopefully you'll you'll see the big band there, and uh, I, <laughs> I'm really committed to singing on pitch. <laughs> so uh, th that's a perk. Um, I don't know, I just try to be lively and, and make sure it's fun, even in the recording of the album. I wanted to make sure we didn't have too many ballads on there. As much as I love big, weighty ballads, uh, I just wanted to make sure the album was fun so the live show would be fun. Many music fans today get their information about artists via the internet. Do you have your own website and what will fans find? I have uh, my MySpace page, myspace.com slash Nathan Lee Jackson, and uh, we, we have a, a video from the radio tour that I'm uh, presently on. I was in Denver and Salt Lake City this past week, and I'll be in Pennsylvania and uh, just all around the country in the coming months on my uh, radio tour, but I uh, have, have a video of one of the radio stations on there. I have uh, four songs from the album. It's just snippets at this point. <laughs> Not one to, you know, give away the whole thing yet, but um, also I do have a, a web page, uh, NathanLeeJackson.com, and that's presently being updated. <laughs> yeah. So fans are always hungry for good road stories. We have one you can tell. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm collecting.
interesting then. <laughs> okay. I would just I would say this. I had never flown uh, before I started recording my album four years ago. And once it started, I was just constantly on a plane between Nashville and Pennsylvania, which is where the label and the studio is. And in, in the amount of in just the first few flights, I experienced every single flying hijinks that you can imagine. <laughs> okay. So describe what is a perfect day for you. Oh. Perfect day. That that would be to uh, first of all wake up in a good mood. I'm not really a <laughs> morning person, but uh, I'd say also to to write a song that I really believe in and, and really love. Uh, see my wife now that I'm married and uh, kiss her goodbye before she goes to work. And uh, I don't know if we could show a if we could throw an awesome show in there. I guess I would I'd take that too. Thanks for the interview. Yeah, thank you, Christian. It's good to meet you.